So what, what is your name? I'm Kai, and I'm from Raleigh, North Carolina. And how did you find out about Azul Residence? I was looking for different ways to explore my art in isolation while also being at the mountains. I went to school at Appalachian State and graduated two years ago and being away from the mountains is just really hard. I always find myself finding reasons to come up here. So through doing research, I was able to find Azul and I applied and got accepted. Well, that's great. And what have you gotten out of your residency at Azul? Well, I've only been here two days, and so far I have mostly been settling in and trying to figure out how I'm going to get out of my own head, just because I have only been painting for about a year, and I have recently found ways to surprise myself with painting, but it comes in spurts because I've been painting between like working and dancing, hanging out with people I love. So being here, it's just a more consistent flow, being able to see what I'm truly capable of through the art form that I love so much. And how did you come to painting? It was about... Hmm. So around last year, I realized that like I wanted a change and I cut my hair and started wearing it in an afro and just decided to love a bit more fiercely and be more honest with myself. And with acrylic pouring, it's pretty much impossible to have full control. So it allows me to work with what I can, accept what I can, and ultimately just try to do my best in this setting. And those lessons can be applied to all aspects of life. So that's really why I started pouring. And the process opens me up to that mindset every time. Also, so the, your, the message of your art is essentially to just let go and live in a state of authenticity, maybe? Yes, yes. And one thing that I really like is I run my Instagram and I post process videos that people like for different reasons. Some people really watch them just because they're satisfying and it's easy to, to watch. It's nice to see like a painting from beginning to end. But other people watch my videos so they can feel inspired to create because what I do in a good way looks easy. It looks like anyone can do it. And for the most part, I think anyone can. It's just a matter of getting up and doing. And so I think that's another message in addition to authenticity is that my work shows that anyone can create freely if they have the heart for it. Yeah, I think that's uh, very important and goes to the heart of what human creativity is supposed to be is something that is accessible and provides something to the artist and to the recipient of the art. Yes, I agree. And sometimes as an artist, it's easy to just be like, well, I can only create masterpieces. And that's just an obstacle that I feel like I had to overcome, just my mm -hmm. own inner perfection, my own um, expectations. And being able to set those expectations down and just create for the fun of creating is something that I really love and hope to inspire others to do. Was that an easy process to get to, or was it working on the art that led you to that process? A little bit of both. Um, through meditation, I think I found the language to be like, hey, I'm getting in my own way. Um, and then finding this process and settling into the process has given me more ways to get out of that mindset. Well, that's yeah. Good. Excellent. And so the acrylic medium happened because that was the easiest way to achieve that. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I dance and I do yoga and both of those are different creative mediums to get out of my head, but I don't know, this has been a new passion that I like pursuing. This is very movement based for sure. And, yes. And the fact that maybe you could demonstrate how you were moving along with the canvas. Sure, for a moment, yeah. Because that yeah. was really cool. So you basically apply acrylic paint and then that product and then you let it um it's kind of hard to see on this one because i don't have as much paint on it mm -hmm. but i can show you with a smaller canvas okay no, that okay. would be good let's do that there was a, a a resident here who's a professor um katie st Clair, and she had a similar process with oils i think where she would work with different mediums and sometimes the mediums would repel each other and would create oh, um, cool. really odd bubbles and part of her process was also allowing the painting itself to sort of 
guide you along on mm -hmm. what was happening. It does kind of take on a life of its own. Okay, so I will mix the paint in the cup first. I'm just just a basic acrylic paint. Uh... Mm -hmm. I try to use Liquitex and other like nicer brands just because they retain the pigment a bit better. Okay. And you learned that through trial and error, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the product, right? That's the um... Liquitex. Yeah, that's the brand. Okay. But really, any acrylic paint will work. And there's that. So you got your blues and then your gold. Mm hmm And so this is called a dirty pour. Okay. Oh. Flip it upside down. And then. Whoa! Oh my gosh! Yeah. And the paint's already doing movement on its own. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. That it looks very ocean-like. Mm-hmm. I like working with these colors a lot. Do you then go in there and add things sometimes? Yeah, as needed. And like, if you can see here, the runoff, sometimes mm -hmm. you can like, wow. just do a little like scrape kind of. Oh yeah. And then. I'm gonna do it quickly. So I... Oh yeah, now you got purples that weren't in there before. That is fantastic. And now it's a whole new painting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow, gosh. It's really fun to play with. And oh, yeah. As long as you're cool with a mess. Yeah. So when, when do you know that a painting is done? Is it just... Um, I go through um, ups and downs. So, like, I'll probably hate it for a little while and then rework it. And then, basically, I try to start with an intention. So, like, with this one, I really wanted the deeper blues to show and I wanted some kind of essence of mountains. And I've already kind of achieved that oh, yeah. here. I'm just trying to achieve it a bit better down here. And this is one of three. I'll be doing a purple one that's already dry and then this one and then a green one. <laughs> and so all of those are going to have this copper gold and this negative white space is a through line even though they're all different colors so I basically just decide does this fit with my original intention mm -hmm. yes or no if no keep working it if yes then it's done okay that's cool any last words huh? um I'm really grateful to be here at Azul this morning I woke up and could see the stars from my window and it's just a really great place to be so I'm glad to be creating here oh, thanks so much Kara. yeah thank you